Oh man, I love that. All Might is like Tiger from Tiger and Bunny. He's got the whole limited time through his strength thing. Man, that was cool. There was only one thing that would have been cooler, which I was kind of expecting and didn't happen. I thought because he reused his power and went in to save Deku, he was going to end up dying at the end of all of that. Might just be because I'm a sick, sadistic bitch, but I thought that would have been a lot more powerful if Deku pushed him over the limit to the point where he killed himself just to make sure he was a hero and he still helped everyone. But still, the fact that he survived was good. The fact that he went in proved he's a hero. Deku proved that he's a hero, except that he can't do shit. So that's something he's going to have to work on, and it looks like he's going to be working on it from next week. Because the next preview shows him training with All Might, which is just going to be weird. I mean, in one way I'm looking forward to it, because I like a good training montage, especially when it's actually realistic training. Because in too many of these types of shows, the training they do is just not possible. I mean, if you think about things like One Piece, when Zoro was like upside down with his arms on the ground and his feet doing push-ups with a barbell that's like the size of a store. Jesus Christ. And then the Dragon Ball kind of training where they just put the gravity up to 300 and beat the shit out of each other. Ridiculous shit. Last one that I can remember that actually had realistic training montages that I can remember. Because I don't watch many shonen anymore. But the last one I can remember is History's Strongest Disciple, Kenichi. And man, I loved it when that had a lot of training going on. It was realistic. It showed you the character's growth. And it was a realistic way of showing it. I mean, that's literally all you have to do to show that a character is working to become stronger. Show them training. If you can get them some emotional growth while you're doing that, even better. And Deku is obviously going to get a lot of emotional growth from this because he's going to be working with his hero, All Might. Even though his hero, All Might, is actually a pretty tiny dude when he's not using his powers. I mean, that's going to be interesting. Deku's going to be getting stronger and stronger than All Might actually is. Which I just find funny. <laughs> that's the one thing I find weird about it. But it's going to be cool. So in this episode, Deku showed what kind of hero spirit he has. And I really liked it. I mean, it was that typical, I'm going to keep going no matter what, stupid thing. I mean, he almost got blown up. Seriously, if All Might hadn't stepped in, he would be dead. He didn't even try to dodge that fist coming at him. I mean, don't get me wrong. Deku did good. The moment where he remembered that this guy normally tries to scare you and make you flinch and then do a properly attack. That was awesome. The fact that he got him in the eye and managed to get close to him was cool. But dude should have died, man. <laughs> He is so lucky. And so I can't imagine him doing anything in the future other than just being a tactical expert. Somebody who watches the other heroes going in, sees what the villain's weakness is, and then exploits it at the end. Kind of like the main guy in How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> or a lot of heroes, actually, that are very weak. It's just all about intelligence. Unless he develops some sort of quirk later on, which I'm still not sure about. I mean, he's got his little costume designed out and everything. It looks horrendous. <laughs> but it will be interesting if he does develop a quirk and what it actually is. Or if his quirk is just intelligence. So the greatest thing that came out of that fight was Kachan. Kachan basically respects Deku now. He'll never admit it for obvious reasons. But he does. He feels kind of indebted to Deku and he hates that. He's gone all sundere because of it. When he literally chased him down and said... I didn't ask for your help and you didn't help me. Bullshit. So yeah, he's gone full on Sundere for him. Hopefully that means he'll stop bullying Deku if nothing else. But we'll see. Maybe he'll continue to be a Sundere dick and bully him. But, you know, Deku's clearly been friends with him throughout all of this, even though he's been being bullied. So, you know, maybe Deku's just a masochist who likes it. <laughs> Either way, this was a good second episode. I'm looking forward to more of it and what the next arc can actually bring. Because this was just the origin story. And I wonder what training with All Might can do for him. Will it do anything for him or will it all just be for shits and giggles? So let's find out next week. If you like this review, wreck that like button like you mean it. Subscribe if you haven't already seen more. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.